Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial and today I will show you how you can migrate, move or transfer your WordPress website from any hosting like Bluehost, Hostgator, Namecheap, GoDaddy or any other hosting provider to SiteGround's website hosting. So um, and uh, I will show you how to do it very quickly step by step and it's will this tutorial is best for beginners. So please watch it and I will do it very quickly. So this is the website that my WordPress website that I want to migrate to SiteGround because uh, my current hosting provider is a bit slow and doesn't allow a lot of plugins. So I have decided to move to SiteGround because of their awesome service and great uptime and great features. So. Um, so uh, if you uh, have not signed up for SiteGround yet, please go sign up using my affiliate link in the description. You will get a 70% discount and if you have already signed up for their website hosting, so um, you can you don't have to do this step. Um, you can start by sign, uh, start from here. What you have to do is go check your email from SiteGround. This important uh, you will you will have uh, an email from SiteGround about your hosting plan. Um, it will be something like this. Just scroll down and you will see an option of set up website. Then click on add website. And then you will be a uh, prom uh, you will have to enter your username and password. Just enter it and then log into your word SiteGround dashboard. And from here you will see this three options. So um, select the third option temporary domain. And um, I've already selected uh, this is the temporary domain name that SiteGround has assigned me. So um, depending on your plan, you will uh, this will be assigned to you automatically. And this is just temporary. And after uh, we have the completed the migration, uh, we will change our domain name to the regular domain name. So uh, click continue. And you will have those two options. So um, what I would suggest you to do is click on this start new website and don't select the migrate website option because their own migration tool doesn't work properly. I have checked tested it and um, you can watch that video too if you want. So select the start new website option. This step is much easier and um, here select WooCommerce and then um, enter your use uh, email and password this will be your wordpress admin email and password and don't worry because um, after we do the migration this will get reset to the old old credentials so just um, keep the same email id and then click on continue And here you will see this uh, an upsell product for SG site scanner. We do not need it, so click on finish. And this will take two minutes. So while the setup is completing, let's um, let's install complete our migration process. Let's go back to our WordPress website. And this is the existing WordPress website. So go to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. And if you need any help, you can contact me directly at my email ID or post in the comment section and I will get back to you. So once you log into your WordPress admin dashboard, go to plugins and from here click on add new. And then go to the search bar and search uh, and then search for plugin migration. search for migration and hit enter and you will see this option all in one WP migration by serve mask. So um, I've already installed this plugin. You will get an option to like install now and then activate. So just activate it. And then um, on the left side, you will see this new option, all-in-one WP migration. 
and here click on export and now before we start the actual migration process I would recommend you to please back up your website so if anything goes wrong you know you never know if um, if something could go wrong uh, you will have a backup to restore your website and it's it's completely easy if you don't know how to backup your WordPress website you can watch my other video it's completely free option and it's very easy to do and you can find the link of that backup uh, tutorial on the cards so um, after you create a backup of your WordPress website click on export to and here select file and this is a very awesome plugin it just works magically and, and I have tried it several times and it has never failed me so and then you will see the back and uh, download this download option just click on it and depending on your internet connection and your website size this will take a few minutes to download just close this prompt and let the download finish Let's go back to the my site ground dashboard and the setup is completed temporary website and then here you will see this option view your site access WordPress so let's um, let's open this web temporary website in a new tab and um, you will see that um, it's a blank WordPress website there's nothing on it so let's again go back to the dashboard and then go to the access WordPress admin login admin and you can see our uh, export backup is also down download is completed so you will see this um, welcome to WordPress website and click on start now And you will see this options just um, we want to create a, a temporary website so just click exit this wizard because we are migrating our website so everything will get overwritten by our, by our previous website so from here what you have to do is um, go to plugins again click on add new and then here again add the migration plugin search for migration plugin you will see this option all in one migration plug WP migration this is the same plugin we install on our web existing web WordPress website install it activate it and you can see you can see already see the difference between my existing hosting and this new hosting so this is why I recommend um, site drone so um, then you'll see this option and you'll see this option import and um, now what you have to do is just drag and drop your export file we just created and there's another thing that you have to keep in mind that if um, if you see here a maximum upload size limit is 128 MB on site ground so if your web WordPress uh, file size backup file size export file size is bigger than this what you have to do is um, uh, import it in parts and then extract it so if you want to learn about that and you can post in the comments email me or um, I will create another video about it so and it's link should be visible up in the cards so if you are facing that issue please check out my other video tutorial and um, and for other users you can just follow the steps so this will depend again on your internet connection speed and the, your website file size so the import is complete almost okay so this will show you a warning that the import process will overwrite your website including database media so please ensure that you have a backup of your data so as I told you before make sure you back up your existing website and this temporary website will should not have any important data because it will get deleted then click on proceed 
and your site has been imported successfully so just change the permalink structure and this will show you the login screen um, just okay um, just give me a second because I'm using a different hosting so if you are using any extra security plugin like I am using this ninja firewall plugin um, you will get this extra login prompt copy password and um, so this credentials will be um, will be the same as you were using on your old website and not on the new credentials we created before so now log into your website yeah, and if you are getting any error please post in the comments uh, I will help you then simply log in yeah, and if the import process was uh, successful you should be able to log into your website easily and um, as you can see thus we have logged in check the post uh, permalink structure is correct selected correct then click on save changes I'm using the correct common link structure okay so let's check um, now this is the I had I opened this uh, temporary domain on a new tab this was the blank website so let's try to reload this and see if the import process has completed successfully and okay you can see this is the website this is my website and my this is my old website both are completely same so the import process has completed successfully and let's check the image URLs which I'm worried if the if the image URLs are pointing correct to the new domain as you can see the image URLs are pointing to the new domain so the import process has completed successfully and that's it so um, okay so now we have uh, successfully migrated to the new server now what we have to do is change this temporary domain to our permanent domain so um, uh, I will show you in the next part how to do it